104.5 XLO. We are live in the Clinton Savings Bank studio with Worcester City Manager Ed Augustus. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Frank. How are we today? Let me check. Okay. Oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man Thumbs up. hey yeah. um, bef- before we get to our hard-hitting investigative journalistic question that we're going to ask you a little later oh, we need to good. find out yeah <laughs> what's uh what's the plan for the dcu they're going to reopen it huh yeah the governor's office had called uh, about a week ago and asked if we'd be willing to make it available once again um out of an abundance of caution given the trajectory of the numbers uh, not only in Massachusetts, but really around the country. Uh, We are in the middle of the second surge that was talked about and forecast. And and unfortunately, I think this second surge is going to end up being worse than the first wave. Just the numbers are going to be higher. Uh, And we've got the complications of the colder weather and holiday season, which means travel and people getting together. uh, That's just probably going to exacerbate the numbers. Ed, switching gears a little bit, we wanted to talk to you about the lighting of the Christmas tree. We passed it the other day on the Worcester Common. It looks beautiful. You guys are going to do a lighting virtual celebration. Well, don't tell anybody. It's our little secret, but we were out there taping it last night. Ah. Uh, And uh, the mayor and special guest from the North Pole was with us, helping us actually light the Christmas tree for our virtual ceremony that'll be a little bit later on. But they did an awesome job. The common looks great. Well, they always look fantastic. They do a great job decorating the back of that uh, behind City Hall. It really does look good. Yeah, they, they do a really nice job. We have a company that comes in. They, they light all the trees as well as the Christmas tree itself and some of the other decorations. And the last couple of years, we've gotten a lot of the building owners around the common to light up the fronts of their buildings. And Uh, We should have even more buildings this year, so uh, you're going to see not just the common, but a lot of the core downtown buildings all nicely lit up. Okay, give us a second here. We've got to put on our investigative journalist hat. (laughs) Um, I'm going to fasten my seatbelt. Don't worry, Ed. (laughs) We have a question for you. Ed, where do all the leaves go that the city collects? (laughs) <laughs> they they go to leave heaven. Um, <laughs> up in the, uh, no, the city collects, and we're one of the few communities in the whole state that actually does leaf pickup. If you live in one of the bedroom towns of Worcester, you're on your own to get rid of your leaves. Worcester comes and picks them up from your curb. And off of Millbury Street, there's a mammoth facility, and it's a composting station. And literally year round, we have employees who work backhoes and they turn the compost. So it's everything from the leaf um, pickup to uh, stuff that comes out of the catch basins. And it's all put there and turned multiple times during the year and composts. So this spring, uh, as we do every spring, any Worcester resident who wants to come and get some beautiful, rich, black compost for their garden can do do so free of charge. Ed, I never knew that. That is so yeah. cool that you guys do that. Yeah, it's a really, it's a very, you know, environmentally sound process and it's a nice service. Both of the things are nice services uh, for our residents. Well, I'm pretty sure that hard-hitting journalistic question was a big disappointment to you, so we're going to end this here. (laughs) Well, I'll look forward to next week. I've always wanted to know that, though, Ed. I have a big pile of leaves in my front yard. Yeah, no, it's it's a pretty cool process, and Worcester's been doing it for quite a while, and I I think you're right. I don't think a lot of people knew uh, what actually happened with them. Well, fantastic. Ed, thank you much, as always.